So, you know, when we're talking to our parents and we come across a situation where we're wanting to say, you know what, mom, dad, I don't think this is right. I don't know why you're doing this. And we don't know how to say it. Well, many times put yourself in the position that if you were doing something wrong, wouldn't you want someone to come and tell you? But we have to be mindful in the way we speak and revere our parents. So the way we speak to them and the way we revere them is going to have a significant impact on the way they react to us. Ibrahim salam now is going back home after being out for so many days. He's now had an argument with not just the people of Haran, but he had left his home in search of something that was going to satisfy that void that was in his heart. He's returning back with a mission. He gets home and his father is there waiting for him. And he asks him, where did you go, man? And Ibrahim salam, he says to his dad, he says, Ya Abati, oh my father, in such a loving way, in such a loving term, he's calling out to his dad and he says, Oh my father, there has come to me a knowledge that has not come to you before. And he says, just follow me. And if you follow me, I will help you go on Sirat al mustaqim on that path of Sirat, the straight path. And not only will I help guide you there, he says that I'll help you. And then he gives his dad a second piece of advice. Oh my father, don't worship shaitan. These idols, they're shaitan. Verily shaitan rebelled against the one who was the most merciful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says, don't worship him. And subhanAllah, during this conversation, and I want you to imagine this, how many times have we been in a conversation where our parents know that what we are saying to them is right, but they are so stubborn in their ways, they don't want to listen. Now, whether it's your parents or whether it's the parents speaking to their children, and I want you to picture this, where Ibrahim salam is talking to his dad. His dad is just completely silent, listening to what Ibrahim salam is saying. Ibrahim salam says to his dad that, Oh my father, verily, definitely, indeed, I fear that you will get a punishment from Allah because you have become a companion of shaitan. And shaitan is a companion of the hellfire. And immediately when he says this, because now he is striking the core of what his father's belief is. And immediately when he says this, Ibrahim salam's dad turns to him and he says, Ya Ibrahim, are you rejecting my gods? Are you rejecting that what I worship, O Ibrahim salam? Because if you are, then leave my sight, get out of my face, and don't be anywhere around me. And if you don't leave, I'm going to punish you, and I'm gonna punish you in such a way that I will pelt you with stones. Just leave. And SubhanAllah, what does Ibrahim salam do? He doesn't argue back. He doesn't talk back to his dad. Because of that love he has for his dad. And I just wanna say, We've got to have that love with our parents because this is such a grave thing that Ibrahim salam is being told that I will kill you. His own father is saying, I will pelt you with stones if you don't leave. And what is the response of Ibrahim salam? He says that, Oh my father, may peace be upon you. And then he goes on to say that not only Will I ask for your forgiveness? Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ever most gracious. I've got a good relationship with Him. Now I want you to take a pause. And I want to remind us, in the story of Luqman salam, when he was advising his son, he said to his son, Ya bunayya la tushrik billah 
إن الشرك لظلم عظيم. That oh my son, whatever you do, don't commit shirk with Allah. Why is that? Because إن الشرك لظلم عظيم. That is the greatest sin. That is the unforgivable sin. وَوَسَّيْنَ الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ حَمَلَتْهُ أُمُّهُ وَحْنًا عَلَى وَحْنٍ وَفِصَالُهُ فِي عَامَيْنِ أَنِشْكُرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيْكَ إِلَيَّ الْمَصِيرِ That, don't you remember, your parents, especially your mom, who carried you difficulty upon difficulty, they took care of you when you were a child. And when you're when you're dutiful to them and mindful to them, that is a form of giving shukr and being grateful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Ibrahim alayhi salam is utilizing those teachings, even though he came before Luqman alayhi salam. He is being so merciful with his dad, and then what does he say? He says that, "Oh my dad, with a broken heart." He says, Dad, I'm going to have to turn away from you. I'm going to have to leave you with the people and those that which they worship. And he's so heartbroken. And he's going through a lot of pain, that anguish that is inside of him. And he ends up leaving the house because he can't handle that a partner is going to be associated with Allah. Today in society, we have lost that respect that we should have with our parents. And we should really look at the way Ibrahim alayhi salam, even though he's being threatened with being killed and punished in a way where he was going to be stoned to death by his father out of anger, he says this. Ibrahim alayhi salam still says that, oh my dad, regardless of what you say, what you do, I'm not only sending peace upon you, I'm gonna ask Allah to forgive you. How many of us actually have that type of love with our parents and parents? How many of us have that love with our children? Now Ibrahim alayhi salam has left the house and subhanAllah, he now has to deal with all of those idolaters and all of those that associate partners with Allah. He now has to go have a conversation with them. And that's not an easy conversation that he's about to have.